Tonight, new evidence that the federal government has ignored a threat to the integrity of our elections. A group of Venezuelan businessmen have bought an American company that supplies electronic voting machines and counts the votes. But your government didn't even review the sale. Who should worry about democracy? Kitty Pilgrim reports. Smartmatic, based in Boca Raton, provides voting machines in local elections in the United States, like this election in Chicago in March. But Smartmatic has only five to seven people working in Boca Raton, Florida. Smartmatic is a labyrinth of international holding companies owned by Venezuelan businessmen. Smartmatic Group NV of Curaçao, Netherlands Antilles owns Smartmatic International BV of Amsterdam, Netherlands, owns Smartmatic Corporation of Florida, which bought Sequoia Voting Systems of California, USA in 2005. When Smartmatic bought the U.S. voting machine company Sequoia in 2005, the U.S. government did not review the sale. In discussions with this program today, Smartmatic lawyers admitted we were contacted by Treasury about a week ago, and we have provided documents over the last few days. The big worry for U.S. elections is Smartmatic and other voting machine companies are private companies. They have proprietary software they can call a trade secret. Electronic voting experts with extensive experience say it's nearly impossible to verify if a proprietary system is tamper-proof. All of the voting system vendors in the United States are private companies. The problem is the closed-door proprietary nature of the process. The closed system we have right now makes it extremely hard to find out what's going on. And that means that should a thief get in a position of power, we would never know. Some voter watchdog groups and others in Congress are calling for a full review and say the ownership of all electronic voting companies should be reviewed to determine if it poses a risk to U.S. elections. The U.S. Treasury Department today would not confirm or deny if a so-called CFIUS review is underway on Smartmatic. The U.S. Treasury Department tells us they can review documents for months, even weeks, before a 30-day formal review can begin. And then the agency can decide to extend that for another 45 days. What they say they can't tell us is if they're looking into Smartmatic, but that's something the company itself admitted to us today, Lou. That they were not reviewed by the Committee on Foreign Investment of the United States. When they were bought. That no one at the Treasury Department, no one in this federal government took one look at this transaction. They absolutely did not. And meanwhile, the, uh, the election people and the federal government have no concept of who they're doing business with, how in the world it'll work, whether or not they can assure us that this election in midterms in nearly every state is accurate and verifiable. In fact, the Chicago officials admitted to us that they yeah. thought they were dealing with a Florida U.S. company. Well, we know what we're dealing with, and it is a dysfunctional government that is trying to render our elections precisely the same. Kitty, thank you very much as we will continue reporting on what is an outright threat to our democracy, to the integrity of our voting system, and to our elections process. Uh, thank you, Kitty. Kitty Pilgrim. Tonight